Hi, remember when lasers were just a sci-fi dream? Well, not anymore. Today lasers are more accessible than ever, and we'll be taking a look at an affordable laser cutter called the Creality Falcon 2. Let's start by checking out what's inside the box. There is a manual, a bunch of small tools to use with the machine, including a micro SD card, containing additional video tutorials, PDFs, as well as software presets, some 2mm pivot sheets for the first tests, some cheap safety glosses, and finally the machine with the laser head as well as the cutter itself. The aluminium frame is already assembled. You just need to screw in the legs and connect a few cables. The legs are adjustable in width with three different holes on each side of the machine to fit workbenches of different depths. To engrave thicker objects, the machine can be raised by adding these four extension tubes to the legs. There are also tensioners at the back and the middle of the machine, allowing you to easily tighten the belts if necessary. Now the laser head has to be installed with these two screws, and to connect it to the air pump, the cable management is already designed for us. The air pump also has a small filter which prevents dust from being sent toward the machine. Now to start a cut, you need to connect the machine to a PC via USB-C or use the micro SD memory card. You need to also prepare the machine by setting the laser cutting head to the correct height using this aluminium calibrating tool. Turn on the machine and press frame. The machine will then trace a visual frame where the cut will be made, so that you can adjust the position of the material and ensure that everything fits well. Confirm and the machine does the rest. I started by cutting these test files, So we have this matrix with the different possible settings which we can keep as a reference and bring out every time we need to recut the same material. But now let's move on to the real cuts. I first tried cutting leather. What's really handy is that the laser can do both the outlines and the holes for the sewing. It's also super fast and much cleaner than cutting by hand. and we also have very little waste. To finish this card holder, I did a simple saddle stitch. I must say, I'm really impressed with how clean the card holder is. It's the fastest leather project I've ever made, and yet it's the cleanest. Only for now the edge is a bit rough, so to fix that, you can use token oil, rub it on the leather edge, and it will become smooth and shiny. I also tested this poplar plywood I bought on Amazon. Poplar is known for not leaving much charring on the edges with laser cutting. However, here I don't know why, but the edges were really dirty so, to fix that, I tried using vinegar to clean the pieces. It works pretty well, but not enough to get the burn particles out of every nook and cranny. So in the end, I just stained all the pieces black. And I think it looks really nice. By the way, this honeycomb breed was not provided with the machine, but I recommend you getting one, because it helps evacuate the fumes under the bee since being cut, which gives much cleaner results. But I noticed that for better results, it's better to raise it slightly, so that the smoke can escape from underneath. So I modeled and 3D printed these spacers, which you can also find in the description below. 
I also cut this plywood box to test the flexible wood method. With the test I've done, my favorite material to cut was the cardboard. It leaves almost no charring on the edges and the black and white look is I think very nice. I tested a feature of Lightburn that allows you to turn any image into an engraving. So we can have two layers, one for the lines that need to be engraved with less power and then a second layer for the parts that need to be cut. Here it is this rectangle that was cut once the engraving was finished. Now, after all these tests, it's time to give a balanced opinion on this machine. In terms of quality, I was pleasantly surprised. The machine is well built, the cuts are clean, partly thanks to the air pump that was included with the machine, However, the only hardware flaw is that I couldn't connect this machine to my Mac via USB. I was forced to use the machine outside with an SD card. And the use of the SD card brings us to another problem, the absence of a screen. Since the machine only reads the first file on the card, it's impossible to prepare several files in advance and run them in a sequence. You have to put one file on the card, cut, put a new file on the card, and so on. So for connectivity, it would have been nice to have either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to install the machine outside, away from your workstation, and work comfortably like that. And the last negative of this machine is the smoke and others produced during the cut. Creality sells an enclosure that can be placed over the laser, but also doing the cuts outside works as a workaround. But now back to the positive points. From a safety aspect, the machine has sensors that detect if there is a flame and automatically stop the cut if that's the case with an audible alarm. It works pretty well, but I wouldn't let the machine run unsupervised because you never know. Supposedly there are also sensors that will detect if the machine is tilted or falls off a workbench. But in my testing, these small bumps weren't enough to trigger this feature. Then the emergency stop button works very well. The laser and the air pump shut off immediately if you press it. And to make the machine usable again, you have to unlock the emergency button by turning it so it pops back up. Speaking of safety, I won't go on about it for long. You probably already are aware that it's a more dangerous machine than let's say a 3D printer. But here the laser is also equipped with a lock, which can be handy if you want to prevent access to the laser by people who don't know how to use it yet. Another positive is the large cutting surface. 400 by 415 millimeters is almost two lengths of A3 paper, so you can fit quite a few things on one cut. Also, it's a small detail, but the fact that there is space under the laser allows you to cut materials that slightly exceed the cutting bed. So, in conclusion, the Creality Falcon 2 offers a large cutting area, a solid structure and is very easy to use. However, the lack of a screen and the very basic file management can be drawbacks. This machine is ideal for quick and precise cuts on materials like wood, leather and cardboard but it requires proper smoke management and reinforced eye safety since the laser isn't enclosed on all sides. Thank you for watching this video on the Creality Falcon 2. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments below. Take care and I will see you in the next one.